Good day Philippines, it's good to be back once again to our uh, tropical weather analysis for this Wednesday to Friday, November 25 to 27, 2020 and is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. So let's begin with our, with our update, here's the latest uh, graph set beginning today, Wednesday until tomorrow Thursday. Uh, the northeast monsoon continues to prevail across most parts of the country, particularly across Luzon, extending downwards towards the Bicol region, uh, Visayas, Mimaropa, Sulu Archipelago, and the northeastern portions of Mindanao that includes Siargao and Dinagat Cobo Islands, as well as Surigao del Norte. So they could see some passing showers in between these uh, freezing conditions from the northeast with some a little uh, cooler temperatures although it's not yet cool it's still hot but the temperature has gone down to uh, 28 27 degrees centigrade or 26 in the early morning but this is some relief from the hot uh, uh, weather we experienced uh, during the past uh, six months okay so right now uh, we don't have any uh, uh, formation of a tropical cyclone somewhat we are looking at a shallow low pressure here over the Silva Sea south of Mindanao but this is not expected to intensify it will just move towards the southwest in the general direction of eastern Indonesia and it is likely to be observed within the surface trough so the uh, surface trough uh, continues to affect portions of uh, Mindanao, particularly the southern sections in Dabao region, so we could uh, experience also some showers and thunderstorms much more intensified nowadays because of the prevailing La Nina climatic conditions. Okay, and uh, so far the uh, western sections of central Luzon will, uh, as well as northern Luzon, will continue to have dry northeast monsoon conditions except for the eastern sections where some wet conditions will be expected but these are only passing rainfall brought about by the moderate northeast monsoon the winds will be uh, picking up from around 30 to uh, maximum of 50 kph while up to 60 or 65 kph along the eastern seaboards of luzon we have here a tail end of stationary front and it's not expected to affect our country it's moving towards the east and out here over the eastern and uh, central micronesia we have a uh, uh, itzz which is now beginning to go down to the southern hemisphere probably mid-december or january it will uh, oscillate over the southern hemisphere over northern australia but we still have here as it moves downwards and we have here an upper level low it's not a threat or it's not it's harmless to our uh, surface levels these are around uh, 25,000 to 50,000 feet so there's nothing to worry about this upper level uh, low pressure but it enhances some cloudiness within this uh, intertropical convergence zone so far uh, I forgot to tell you that the waves here along the eastern sections of the country as well as the inland sections the inland seas of uh, Visayas will be moderate to rough because of the prevailing Amihan or Northeast monsoon. Okay, now let's take a look at our fast animation. You can clearly see here some low level cloudiness from the Northeast monsoon penetrating the eastern section of the country and some uh, little thunderstorms or some thunderstorms across Visayas also here. Uh, along the southernmost part or extreme southern part of Palawan and Shergao, Dinagat and Shergao provinces and we have here the upper level low enhancing some intertropical convergence zone thunderstorms over eastern Micronesia and Marshall Islands here's the zoom in satellite animation as you can see here these are low level cloudiness brought about by the northeast monsoon penetrating across the mountainous areas of central and northern zone as well as into Metro Manila so you could see some low level cloudiness Nimbus Stratus that's the uh, low level clouds that could bring some showers and drizzles across these areas and here in some coastal areas of north and eastern Bicol region as well as some thunderstorms across eastern Visayas and northeastern Mindanao what about by the prevailing northeast monsoon which is quite strong as of this time 
and you can see here the trough okay and here's the uh, weak or shallow LPA nothing to worry and as we look at our three-day rain and wind forecast from windy.com from the ECMWF model so this is today with some thunderstorms what about by the uh, monsoon by tomorrow Thursday, the uh, northeast monsoon will just be concentrating here across the eastern sections of Luzon with some convergence occurring over the Bicol region as the uh, easterly, warm easterlies will start to set in. So expect some thunderstorms across uh, most parts of the Bicol region by tomorrow uh, Thursday, especially in the afternoon and some localized thunderstorms brought about by the surface trough across areas of Mindanao so these areas will be under already from the east uh, by tomorrow Thursday and on Friday the northeast monsoon will remain here across eastern Luzon with some easterly and northeasterly components across the Bicol region with some showers as well and some uh, isolated thunderstorms across Visayas and um, due to the uh, easterlies so it's now becoming to shift uh, blowing from the from the east while over Mindanao we have some localized thunderstorms brought about by the surface trough and some easterlies over the eastern sections of Mindanao so expect Mindanao to be wetter during the next uh, few months because of the prevailing uh, La Nina conditions so lots of rainfall is in store uh, over Mindanao okay and uh, before we leave you is the latest global topics hazards and benefits outlook from the climate prediction center of NOAA of US and this is based uh, more on the uh, HWRF model and the uh, GFS model so on week 1 November 25 to December 1 we could see some uh, above average rainfall this brought about by the existing uh, La Nina and the uh, uh, Northeast Monsoon while on week 2 uh, valid December 2 to December 8 the American model are for uh, is forecasting a possible medium chance of development of a tropical cyclone entering par uh, sometime December 7, 8 or 9 but again as I said two week forecast is less than 30% or less than 20% probability so it will still change and uh, let's all hope and pray that this uh, formation will not push through because this is again another bad news if it does push through so we will keep you uh, updated in the coming uh, weeks uh, concerning this moderate or medium chance of a tropical cyclone development between December 2 to 8 so let's hope and pray that it won't affect the Philippine Islands and some recoverture I let's hope that some recoverture will occur during this uh, second week of December during uh, December 2 to 8 okay so uh, that's it that's our latest for this afternoon of Wednesday and we will be returning again on Friday to give you more tropical weather updates. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser. Be hashtag typhoonwiser. And thank you for watching our channel.